What's up guys, my name is Dark Chronicles here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be showing the weekly update for Jalat 31st 2018. Today is the Solstice of Heroes, so there's a bunch of festivities in the tower and what seems like shards of the fragment or perhaps feathers in the sky. Lots of cool stuff happening, uh, not too many things, it's basically they, they're giving you some armor to kind of rank up and level up. You can see this guy, he's already got the full set of uh, the original armor that we broke and whatnot. That's basically what you get and then you level it up to get to the ultimate version as you go through. Basically, you're gonna be doing some campaign missions and some other stuff. Uh, I'll leave in the description down below. Hello, yes, yes. I'll, I'll leave in the description down below of how to get to each piece. Each class has their own special way of doing it. Most of them are gonna be the campaign missions for that particular character. Um, and I'll be going through this right after I finish my weekly update, so I'm also gonna be going through uh, the regular weekly update and telling you what's what and where where. So right when you get on, first of all, you're gonna be seeing a bunch of Souls of Heroes thing. We're gonna be getting this gift when we get to Everest, and then the statue will be starting the uh, mission, so I'm not going to the statue yet and just in case it takes me some mission I'll do that uh, later um, in the thing as far as flashpoint it is going to be on Nessus so if you're looking to do the flashpoint this week or you want to do K's map they are both on Nessus and presumably that's where the Xur is going to be uh, on Friday as far as the nightfall goes the per medium is going to be the nightfall which means you can get the sniper rifle in this particular nightfall it is uh, I don't really remember much about it it's not that bombastic but it is definitely a rare sniper rifle you can see it on screen now um, and it's a gun. It's one of the four or five guns you can get in the Nightfall drop, so you definitely want to go out there and get it. Again, my best strategy for doing this is make sure you get a high score run first, and then do a bunch of low scoring run after that, and then you should be able to get the unique a lot more easily, and this is based on my own test, and uh, something that Bungie said a few times very vaguely, although it's not too certain. As far as the Crucible playlist right now, the random playlist right now is... Is it? Yeah, it's Supremacy, right? Yeah, okay, so this new setup is a little confusing, but it is going to be Supremacy, which is a very uh, unfavorable uh, game type for most people. Most people don't like Supremacy, but they did a bunch of tweaking so it doesn't last as long, and you're not just sitting there waiting for kills over and over, so. Uh, but perhaps you want to try some uh, this stuff. It counts for your Valor rank. That's, 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 that's all I got to say. I don't know much about Crucible, so I'm just going to kind of ride on my, my bed sheets here. So we're going to be checking here with Everest. The first thing we're going to do is pick up a Solstice Engram. My assumption is that as you get Bright Engrams during this event, you'll also be able to get Solstice Engrams. So let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of things you can get here. There's a whole bunch of things you can get um, and whatnot. I have no idea what all these things are. Uh, okay, so um, that's unfortunate, actually. So what it seems like, if you want to get the final armor to glow, you have to get some of these items. So I assume you have to get them with these Solstice Engrams. Um, and that's just what I see off the bat. There's a whole bunch of cool looking things. You got fishing, a boot, you got the wing thing. Uh, I think I saw a guy earlier, some Suros, the Jade Rabbit looks pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, if you want to see the full scope of things, there's a whole bunch of things. Apparently you can glow them in different colors. Oh yeah, look, look, you can see the glow in uh, different light and whatnot. Maybe we can see the glow in the full armor of the, the orange or something? Apparently you have, uh, ooh, just the, just the arms. So apparently you have the choice of the things. As you go along, you'll be able to get more of these things that are kind of like ornament stuff. So you can get them to glow like this, but in the three different colors. Uh, you got these three ornaments, you got your things. I think we saw these on a previous update, so I'm not gonna show you all of them, but that's basically what they are. Uh, as far as the emotes, we already saw them. The two new emotes, the exotics are here, and then there's a couple of other ones that are interesting. I'm going to show you the fishing one just because I haven't seen it and I want to know what it is. Uh, you fish for a boot, I assume. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a big one. I got a... what I get? Oh, I got a fish? Wow, okay. I got a big old fish. Well, maybe that's random every single time. And then there's the festival dance, which you sprout wings and then just do this little steppy thing. I'll, you know, I... <laughs> I, you know, you can check these out yourself if you want to go for them, and then I just wanted to kind of very quickly peruse through them. A bunch of cool things like the new ghost things. This one looks like a ball. Ooh, wow, these look like Pokeballs. Do you see these things? This look like a Master Ball. Oh, wow, okay. They've got a new style for ghosts, apparently. I mean, other than, you know, these two things. So they got a new style for ghosts. They've got some other ghosts here. Um, I'm looking forward to getting these new things because I have gotten pretty much everything from Warmind, so I'm excited to go out here and get some new stuff. This one looks like a, a motorcycle, like a, like a chopper. Wow, okay. <laughs> so do you lean over the front or you lean back on that? That's, uh, that's definitely something I want to go get. And then a bunch of other miscellaneous uh, legendaries and whatnot. And then finally, uh, transmat effects. Nothing new, nothing different. Some new shaders. Let's go ahead and check out what the new shaders look like on my Titan armor. Although, this is not a very accurate representation of 
what these things should look at because Titan shaders never really look good on Titan armor, so I, I really wouldn't take it uh, at face value. But some of these might actually look decent on maybe some you know ships and sparrows, but um, for the most part, not a lot of shaders. Um, and that is it with that. So let's see what we do end up getting. Ooh, look at that. We got one of the, the, the new ghost shells. All right, and straight to the postmaster. I'm not. Why am I not surprised? So in here, we got a bunch of new things. First of all, if you wanted to buy the Festival Dance and a couple of these other things straight off of her, uh, you can also buy these things as well, but I am full, apparently, so I cannot buy them directly. Um, I would highly recommend getting Bumblebee and Cerulean Divide, as well as Midnight Talons. These are all very good shaders. Meteor Gloss is not very much a uh, particular favor of mine. You have the option of getting these. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what this bundle is. Celebration Vehicle Bundle. Um, I didn't see the price out. So you got this one, which is going to be like a sun traveler-like thing. You've got also the ship, uh, which is going to look very similar to the one I just showed you, but it's going to be in the ship form. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, same models we know, and then 10 of these shaders that I didn't really like. And that price is 800 So that's just under $10 if you want to get that. I personally don't find these to be worth it because you can get about, you know, those sparrows and, and, and ships and stuff. You can pretty much get those in a few hours of play. Personally, I don't like it, but if you do want to get it, uh, it is there for you. This next pack here is going to be the Solar Glow Pack, and it seems like it'll give you the entire set of Solar. So if you're looking for an entire set of Solar, you might want to consider getting one of these. Again, this is, uh, for, oh, actually, no, this is Bright Dust. Okay, so this is actually Bright Dust. So if you've got a thousand Bright Dust, I would say this is probably pretty worth it, considering probably how random it is to get these glows, and I assume these are going to be changed maybe once a day, uh, so it won't just be solar. Um, and I kind of want this, but uh, I have to get to the certain armor, uh, Solstice armor, which is, you know, well, higher up. So make sure you get this. Um, maybe this is going to refresh in a day, maybe in a couple days. Maybe this is for the entire week. I don't know, but that is there for you if you are interested. And I don't think there's anything else to be talking about Everest, there's a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna be going out there. And again, I do not know exactly how you get those Solstice Engrams. I assume every time you get a regular Bright Engram, you'll also get a Solstice. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead over the, to Benedict and do that stuff and, and wrap that stuff up quickly, and I'll be right there when, uh, when I get there. Benedict Cumberbatch himself, we got, uh, ooh, nice little, I didn't even realize his butt sticks out so far, so it's quite sexy. Yes, uh, Benedict, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of random stuff. I don't really think that I really need to tell you, what, ooh, is that Sniper? Oh, apparently the sniper shows up here. Bunch of random stuff. Prestige, regular, uh, regular, regular, uh, uh, Argos, legs and arms, and then the Spires of Star head. Uh, lots of different assortments of stuff. The weapon this week is the sniper rifle. Um, I, I said there's only three weapons you really need to look out for, which is going to be the hand cannon, pulse rifle, and rocket launcher, and then the sniper rifle just after that. The only reason I think this is pretty good is because it has snapshot sights. Um, it zooms in really quickly, so you aim down sights very, very quickly. So if you're looking for a sniper and you like to snipe, I would definitely recommend this one, and you have to complete the regular Leviathan or Procedure Leviathan if you want to get that, but I don't think it's really particularly bombastic and whatnot. Anyways, I'm going to go head over to uh, the, uh, the statue in the middle, and then I'll see you when I get over there. Alright, so here we are at the uh, little statue thing here. Let's go ahead and see what's up. I don't think I'm going to be completing this on camera, uh, but I just wanted to see exactly what it is. My assumption is it's going to put you into the first mission of the game. Alright, so apparently I was wrong. I just got transported to like some other social space after I'm starting up that thing. You know, this place looks familiar, but I can't figure out where. Um, but, you know, it could be just where I, you know, I, sh I, I poop on people. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, we're going to be checking out what's going on here with Ikora. And apparently this is the way you start the mission and there's fireworks in the background. This place is weird. I don't know how long they can... Oh, there's the tower. Okay, so this is the tower and we're at the bottom. So we're in the city. This is the city and whatnot. People were climbing around over there. Perhaps there's secrets over in the distance. Uh, that's my noodle shop right there, Box of Noodle. Uh, if you want to come by and uh, buy a noodle box, um, I would much appreciate. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to head into this mission and see if it really is just homecoming. Okay. But it seems like homecoming, but uh, we start up here. So let's see how fast we can do this. Oh, that guy's new. Oh, we got melted. What is that? Oh, those are just orbs. I'm an idiot. What's that? Oh my god, what's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, what are you? Oh, what's that? Oh my god, what's that? Murdered. And that's why you escalation protocol shot. Does everybody like my coconut? I have a little coconut inside of my ship. His name is, uh, the, the name of the... Is it Hank? Wally? What was the name of the volleyball in, uh, that Tom Hanks movie? Sort of like the castaway? Whatever it is, that's the name of my coconut. 
And here we are. We have just finished the solstice thingamajiggy. Uh, consider your jo uh, well, oh, there we go. All right, we're, we're talking to the statue. Here we go. Solstice of Heroes. So I just finished the first mission, and I've arrived back in the tower automatically, and apparently I have a broken armor set. So I assume, yeah, it's all, all five parts of the thing. So this is where it gets interesting, other than the fact that I have no room for anything ever. Uh, so this is going to be the new vendor in the tower. So they've got a bunch of different things, I assume, for reaching... Uh, a certain triumph ranks. Why don't we just go ahead and uh, collect these things because I've already done some of these. A lot of these you'll have already done. Apparently I'm missing one region chest. Which one is that? I thought I did all of them. Perhaps I have to, to go to my inventory. So let's go ahead and go to my inventory and see if we can just claim them immediately. Because a lot of these I've already completed. They're already done because of all the things I've done in Destiny. So why don't we go ahead here and claim them. I'm already claiming the rewards and these go into your pursuits and whatnot. Um, I've claimed at least 225. I know that. So, and this one should be already done. I don't know where that last chest is. Maybe I have to just go redo it. All right. So now I'm sitting in my full set of broken gear. My understanding of how this gear works is you can upgrade it twice. So you have to first get this armor, which is the scorch gear, and then you have to get it rekindled through a series of different objectives, which I have uh, linked in the description down below again. And then you have to upgrade it to resplendent, which is again another set of different uh, things. Um, or maybe you have to upgrade it three times. I, I don't know, man. There, there's so many different things you can do here to basically things to grind. Um, and I'm excited because I love the grind of Destiny. I love to achieve new things and get new things and or whatnot. Um, I'll, again, link in the description down below. It shows how to do all of them for all the different classes. You'll have uh, plenty to do. It says I have 135 triumph score. I think that's a total lie. Oh, here we go. Okay. So here's some more triumphs that I didn't claim yet. Um, that are here. Uh, I don't know what gold triumphs are about, but uh, we're gonna have to claim them because I, you know, deserve 225 minus 10 because of this thing apparently. So now I'm at 215. So yeah, it's almost exactly what I thought except for minus the region chest one. And let's see if I'm allowed. So it's just saying not enough space. Um, chances of getting a shirt so you can get a discount on the shirt store. There's, I, I've, we've seen these in the past. We know what they look like. This one is new. I don't know if I've seen this one. Uh, so I want to take a look and see, whoa, that thing is spiky and pointy, dude. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all of these things are pretty straightforward. It says what you need to do. Uh, do the late memories, which I think are part of Warmind. Uh, you know, do the adventures and whatnot. Do a bunch of things, and there's different levels of whatnot. And you can go get your gear and whatnot. Um, and I think it might say on the gear what you need to do. Yeah, so on the gear, it does say a checklist of what you need to do. Uh, missions completed. Uh, it says which mission on the website you need to complete. For example, the the arms you have to complete. Homecoming Redux. Collect solar orbs and strikes and complete medicate meditations for Ikora. I don't know what these orbs are. They mention arc orbs, solar, and void orbs. I assume a specific activity requires uh, or gives you certain orbs. I don't know how to get all these things. Uh, perhaps killing people with arc gives you an arc orb. Perhaps. Uh, the, you know, masterwork killing with an arc weapon gives you an arc orb. I don't know how it works. Um, still very new. I'm going to make a future video where I talk about all this stuff in depth. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, and other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, that's the general understanding of the Sources of Heroes. Stay tuned for that video in the future. Of course, my name is the Necronic. And I'll see you guys on the next one.